All right, you two today, we are starting a new series to change things up a bit for our channel. This is Pokemon Heart Gold. Probably the best Pokemon game and definitely the best remake ever. Oh, hell yeah, Obama, this game is the goat of all Pokemon games. I've even played the ROM hack version, Sacred Gold and Storm Silver, and those are even better. Yeah, Donald, I considered playing them, but Joe is with us so well. Yeah, you get the idea. LMAO, yeah, Obama, I get it because Joe is so fucking useless, LML. What the fuck even is this Pokemon game? I have never heard of it or Heart Gold either. Joe, sometimes it feels like you want us to bully you. But anyway, this is a Gen 4 Pokemon game and we will be playing it as part of our new series on our channel alongside all the Animal Crossings too. So please, like and subscribe, guys. Hey, Obama picked the boy and name ourselves Gold, like in the manga. I loved reading that one. Oh yeah, Donald, that manga was so good. I was going to pick the boy and name ourselves Gold, too. I thought that girl character looked really cute, though, in her outfit. OMG, Joe, you are still a creep fucking hell. And her name is Lyra, and she is probably the most useless character in the entire series. She literally does nothing for us. Yeah, she is so useless, almost as useless as Joe El Mao. Anyway, first things first, we have to set our text speed to fast and change our frame color because that is the most important things in any Pokemon game. Frame 20 is the way to go, Obama. And also, by the way, we are picking Cyndaquil, right? Yeah, Donald, it's not even a competition. Cyndaquil is my favorite of all the starter two. Totodile is cute and Feraligator is really good too. But I remember when I was young and first played Crystal, I picked Cyndaquil as my starter, so it will always be special to me. OMG, I also picked Cyndaquil in Crystal version two, Obama. Great minds think alike. Why don't you two go get a room, Jesus? Also, why is this red-haired dude physically abusing us? I suspect he is one of your spawn, Donald LML. Joe, fuck off, you uncultured fuck. You are just jealous that Obama and I have something in common and we are getting along. I would go as far as saying Obama is officially my brother from another mother. Hell yeah, Donald, you are my brother from another mother too. And yeah, Joe, fuck off. Also guys, we will be nicknaming all our Pokemon and Cyndaquil will be named Obama after myself and we can name the others in our team after you two. That's fine, Obama, but I already have our team decided. Also, you will be naming me after the Dratini. We will get after beating the eighth gym badge because Dragonite is so cool like me. He's also orange like you, Donald Elmau. Also, oh, oh, guys, what the hell is this rat thing? I am scared of it. Please kill it now. You call me Orange Joe, but you are scared of a fucking Sentret, seriously. You are not even playing right now. Either Obama is, and you are still scared. Yeah, Joe, you are such a baby. Also, guys, look, we have made it to Cherry Grove City where Joe will give us the running shoes. El Mao. Ha 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 ha, yeah, Joe, you are the old man here and even he looks better than you do, El Mao. Both of you seriously shut the fuck up. You are bullying me so much today and I don't know why. Because, Joe, it is a crime against humanity that you have never heard of Pokemon Heart Gold before, so you deserve our wrath. All right, boys, we have made it to Mr. Pokemon's house and we have to collect that egg for Professor Elm and head back to New Bark Town. Also, have you guys noticed all the Pokemon professors have been named after some sort of tree? Oh yeah, Donald, you're right, most of them are. Oh, Professor Oak is here and he is giving us the Pokemon Dex now too, yay! Joe, you idiot, it's called the Pokedex, not Pokemon Dex, you stupid moron. Oh wait, boys, we are getting a phone call now from Professor Elm, what has happened? Oh no, I am scared again. That red-haired guy has actually gone and stolen a Pokemon from the lab, if I remember correctly, so now we have to go back and see what is going on. Hey, look, Joe, it's time for our first battle with the red-haired guy and Joe. You will be a man now and battle him for us. Oh, no, he has a water type, which we are weak to. What do I do? Joe, calm down. He has no water moves yet, so just keep spamming tackle until we beat him. Although I am surprised you know about type matchups since you couldn't even say the word Pokemon five minutes ago. Wow, I actually won, boys. Yay, yay. And also, Obama, I have Googled a spreadsheet of all the type matchups, so now I will be unstoppable. Okay, Joe, since you are so confident now, if you lose one battle in this series, you will be our Animal Crossing bitch again, and you will be the one who will be grinding levels for all our Pokemon off camera. Okay, fine, but I am naming the red-haired guy now, and I have the perfect name for him, Elmau. Elmau Joe, that is pretty funny, naming him Donald Elmau. Right, Joe, I will catch a Magikarp and name him Joe Biden. After you, the most useless president America has and ever will have, just like how Magikarp is the most useless Pokemon. What I find weird in this whole interaction is how the professor just stands there and doesn't even try to defend us from the policeman when he knew we didn't steal the Pokemon. But it takes this bitch to come in and defend us. I thought you liked Lyra, Joe. You said she was cute. 
Nah, I did some more Googling and turns out she's pretty useless in this game. Oh, I thought it was because she's too old for you, Joe Elmao. LMAO Donald. Donald, shut the fuck up. She is not too old for me, but I don't like her because she does nothing for us in this game, and apparently she even keeps calling us with pointless news, which has no relevance to anything at all. Okay, boys, look, we are finally heading out on our Pokemon journey with our cute little Cyndaquil following us. Yeah, but before that, this bitch is gonna teach Joe how to catch a Pokemon, so pay attention, Joe. Trump, I know how to catch a Pokemon. You just throw those balls at it and hope for the best. Elmao, he isn't wrong, Donald Elmao. Hey, Obama, how about we get Joe to fight all the gyms for us so we can laugh at him failing all the time, LML. Yeah, good idea, Donald LML. But anyway, guys, this will be the end of part one of our Pokemon Heart Gold playthrough. Don't worry, we will continue playing Animal Crossing too. But we also felt it would be good to play another of our favorite games. So thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe. Hey, everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. We haven't played in a while because of Joe. But anyway, we will finish this series, and we hope you enjoy it, so please remember to like and subscribe and check out the playlist in the description below. Joe, check it out. It's your first trainer battle against this boy, so don't fuck it up. Oh, youngster Joey. Hey guys, I also read that you can get phone numbers in this game after beating the trainer, so I'm gonna get the phone number of every youngster in the game. <laughs> oh shit, Donald, why did we decide to continue this with him? Obama, we just have to accept the fact that Joe is a creep and will always be one. In Animal Crossing, he simps over Timmy and Tommy, and now he will do the same for every NPC child in Johto. Okay, everyone watching, at this point in the video, Joe fucked our recording up, and the footage between the last trainer and the gym leader in Violet City was corrupted, and Joe still hasn't given us an explanation, so we are sorry about that. But he did manage to beat his first gym, and as you can see, we also evolved Cyndaquil into Kalava. Obama, he also ruined the footage between Violet City and the following route, so we are sorry about that too. Joe is just being a fucking useless idiot as usual, and a donkey could have done a better job, but anyway, you guys didn't miss much. We dropped the egg of we got from the kimono girl into the PC box because we didn't want to use it, so that's all that has really happened. Oh, one major thing we did is we caught a Flaffy and named it Hillary because LOL, and that will be the second member of our team as well, but anyway, boys, after that disaster, no thanks to Joe, we have arrived at Azalea Town. And it seems Team Rocket is here causing trouble. Yeah, I am really sorry about the lost footage, everyone. I think I forgot to press record, so I am really sorry. Please forgive me. Joe, I would rather forgive Team Rocket for cutting off Slowpoke Tails than your idiocy for not recording our footage, you dumbass. Both of you argue later we need to beat this town's gym and also beat Team Rocket, because as Donald said, they are literally cutting up Pokemon. I have a guide here, and this guy is who we need to help us chase Team Rocket away, and oh, look, boys, he left his daughter all alone. Fucking hell, Joe, leave Kurt's daughter alone. She is not interested in creeps. So go save all the slow pokes, and we won't bully you for five minutes. Ooh, yay, five minutes. Okay, Donald, I will do as you say. Something I would like to talk about is the fact that in every Pokemon game, the world is always saved by a 10-year-old child. Like right now, this idiot Kurt fell down the ladder, and now we have to go save the slow poke. Well, I love the fact that a child saves the world, Obama. Yeah, of course you would, Joe. Why am I not surprised? But anyway, Obama, a child saves the world because it is generally children who play Pokemon, not three presidents. Look, boys, I have already made it to Proton, the Team Rocket admin, and none of our team have fainted yet. Are you both proud of me? Yeah, Joe, sure, but we have not forgiven you for fucking our recordings up. That was so stupid. I hope you will never do that again. We are also quite high level Joe, so that's why you are finding everything so easy right now, LML. Whatever guys, look, I beat all the rocket grunts, so I wish you would be happy for me. See now, look, this old fart, Kurt happens to have completely recovered from his back injury just as Joe managed to beat all the grunts. Obama, I would choose this game over Pokemon Scarlet or Violet any day, so stop complaining. Ah, look boys, the little girl is giving me her phone number. It's like everyone in this game knows I am a creep. Joe, she is giving you Kurt's number, you fucking moron. Seriously, you need to calm your pants down and go take the gym on now, and it's a bug-type gym, so if you lose with Kilava, I will actually drop kick you to a mental asylum. Ah, uh, guys, there are huge spiders everywhere. What do I do? I am scared. Joe, you are such a baby. You have to take the leftmost spider, and it will take you to the next section of the gym, and they aren't even real, you dumbass. Oh, look, boys, I get to have a threesome battle with these two. <laughs> okay, Obama, I am actually considering calling Hillary, and we replace her with Joe for the rest of this series. Donald, she is always with us in spirit as that Marie Pilmao. This battle is so easy, boys, and we will be able to level up Hillary some more, and then she will evolve. 
I wish you would evolve more brain cells, Joe, but listen now, it's time for the gym battle, and remember what I said if you lose this. Joe just spam fire type moves, even though that should be obvious, but because you're an idiot, I feel I'm obliged to tell you that. Donald, leave me alone. I know what I'm doing, so fuck you, fatty. Yeah, he seems to have got this down, Donald. Look, he is sweeping Bugsy's entire team. Only because I was the one who told him to use fire moves, LML, otherwise Joe would probably spam Lear all the time. Look, boys, I managed to beat the second gym all by myself, so shut the fuck up, both of you, and let me play. Okay, Joe, but now you're going to have another battle against Donald LML. I'm still not happy you guys named this ginger-haired fuck Donald. Well, Donald, I'm not happy you exist, but you don't see me complaining constantly, do you? And watch as I destroy you, ha 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 ha. Joe, you are only winning so much because Obama and I do a lot of off-screen training just so you don't end up looking like a moron when we film, but we won't be doing that anymore. Yeah, Joe, see, we do actually care for you, but anyway, Donald, we will get to laugh at him loads when he meets Whitney LML. Who is Whitney? LML, Joe, you are gonna get destroyed by Whitney, but it seems you also have this battle in the bag, too. So well done, I guess. Yeah, well done, Joe, but anyway, guys, let's call it a day on this episode, so please remember to like and subscribe, everyone, and stay tuned for more Pokemon and Animal Crossing. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. We are carrying on from where we left off last time, so please check out the playlist below if you missed the previous two episodes. And please remember to like the video and subscribe and comment. Oh, what the hell do I do here, boys? You need to sneak up on the far-fetched Joe by stepping on the sticks. Oh yeah, we apologize for some of the text getting cut off too, everyone. You can blame Joe for that since he didn't record the screen properly, the dumbass. Yeah, I am not sure what I did there, guys. I am sorry. I must have been too tired that day, but look, I caught the first Pokemon. Yeah, well done, Joe, for doing that mini game. We also caught a HM Slave, which we taught Cut to Take the Trees Down. Oh, check it out, another one of those hot kimono girls. I wonder if she is free later. I don't think they are that cute, Donald TBH. Yeah, Joe, that's because you want to get every single young trainer's number, instead you creep. Oh, check it out, boys. I think Hillary's about to evolve LML. Only if she would evolve her political position, then maybe we could have been friends. Yeah, looks like we're getting a Flaffy now. I think Ampharos is one of the best Pokemon to use in this game, don't you both think? Yeah, Obama as well as Heracross. His attack stats are insane, so we could consider using him too. Also, we should ask our viewers what Pokemon they suggest for our team, and we will pick some and name it after them. Oh, that's a good idea, Donald. Please suggest Pokemon to use, guys, and then I will name them after each youngster on my poke gear. Joe, we will not be naming Pokemon after your favorite children, thank you. But anyway, boys, we made it to Goldenrod City where our third gym badge is. Yeah, but before that, Obama Joe has to answer these quiz questions correctly. Well, he's already fucked it, which is no surprise to anyone. Hey, that was the warm-up round, guys. So now watch as I get everything right. No, Joe, you are just an idiot, and these questions are super easy to answer, so you really don't have an excuse. Well, look, I got it all right now, so you should be proud of me. Joe, if you beat Whitney on your first go, I promise to never bully you again, ever. Well, that will be fucking easy. This bitch will go down faster than I took down those youngsters. Well, this should be interesting, LMFAO. Joe Whitney is considered one of the most difficult gym leaders ever. No, Obama, this will be a clean sweep. Just watch. Okay, Joe, she is leading off with her clay fairy, so let's see how you do. Considering Donald and I both lost this on our first go, Joe, there is no way you will win. Look, that stupid pink shit is already in the yellow, boys. I am destroying her. LML, and now she used a potion and is back to full Joe, so now what will you do? Look, I have her on the run now, there is no way I lose. Okay, Joe, well done. You took down her first Pokemon without losing any of ours, and for you, that is quite impressive. Yeah, and now watch as I send out you, Obama, and her Miltank will also get destroyed. You flinched, Joe, because Whitney used Stomp, and she will now restore her health and destroy you, which means I can keep bullying you, LML. Joe, you fucking idiot, you killed me, you useless fuck. That was a tactical plan there, Obama. You had to be sacrificed for the greater good. Yeah, now you killed Hillary too, Joe, you idiot. We have lost this battle because of you, which was no surprise to anyone again. There is no way I lost this. This battle was rigged. Donald, you rigged it, you fucking cheater. For once, he didn't cheat Joe because he didn't have two because he knew you would lose. You have proven once again how useless you are, Joe. Congratulations. See, Joe, this is how you beat Whitney. You overlevel your Pokemon and get them to evolve and then you can't lose. See this 10,000 IQ strat of mine, it never fails. Yeah, except now this bitch is crying and won't give us a badge. We have to walk down and then she will give it to us, Joe. But I agree with Donald, you need to use his strats if you want to become good players like us. Overleveling sounds like cheating to me, which doesn't surprise me at all that Donald would do that. But anyway, 
Boys, now I read we need to go next door and get the squirt bottle to use against some weird tree on the roots ahead. Yeah, Joe, a pseudo wudo is blocking the path. Check it, boys, another child who wants my number. <laughs> it doesn't make me the creep if they are the ones asking me for it, does it? Yes, it does, Joe, you dumbass, because you are the one saying yes to them. Anyway, will you please squirt the tree with your bottle? I want to squirt many things with my bottle, Donald. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Joe. Seriously, you need to stop this shit now? I may have to send you to prison with Donald if you keep that up. Well, look, guys, I took down this dumb tree thing with Hillary so easily. I think Hillary will end up being one of our MVPs, LMAO. She might, Joe, until we get Dratini, and after we call it Donald, it will be the real MVP. Donald, we are not naming Dratini after you. You have already been named after that red-haired rival of ours, so you cannot be named something twice in our playthrough. I suggest we name that Dratini Joe Biden. And look, one of my youngsters is calling me up. <laughs> Joe, we are not naming Dratini after you. We will name it Michelle Obama. Because she will be the most powerful team member, and we need a strong female in our team. I thought Hillary was our strong female. Yeah, Obama, we are not naming that Dratini after Michelle. Fuck that dumb idea. We should name it Melania if you want a strong female. I'm surprised you didn't suggest we name it Stormy Donald LMFAO. Fuck you, Obama. That was ages ago. Right, I think it's time we end this episode, boys. We made it to E-Critique City, where we will challenge the fourth gym, and Joe, don't fuck it up. Thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and sub the video. All right, time to show you boys how a real Pokemon master plays Pokemon Heart Gold. Oh my fucking God, guys, this bitch is like a parasite. She has infected our entire playthrough series, now all of them. Yeah, I wasn't expecting Hillary today either, Donald. She sent me a DM last night on Snapchat, boys, and asked if she could show us how a pro plays Pokemon, so apparently she's gonna fly through the next two gym badges for us. Yeah, and I watched your playthrough so far, guys, and you decided to nickname one of your Pokemon after me, and I'm glad it's Ampharos, because I would probably choose that as my partner, IRL. Wow, guys, look, she defeated that Team Rocket grunt in one move. Hillary is so good. Joe, it's not that impressive. Even you could do it. We are so overleveled, so of course we could one-shot that coughing. Donald, it's okay to be jealous of my Pokemon skills. When I watch myself play, even I get jealous of how good I am. Well, we got Surf now, boys, so Hillary, it's now time to go to the Burned Tower and fight Donald and see the legendary trio. Oh, wow, wow, it's legendary Pokemon. Please catch them, Hillary. Then we will be so overpowered. We can't get them yet, Joe, but we will later. Also, I saw some of your comments in the last video, and one of the viewers suggested we use Vaporeon. Now, normally I would agree with this choice. However, we have Donald with us, and he will probably make X-rated jokes and get the channel banned, so we won't be using Vaporeon. Hey, Hillary, you can't just invade our playthrough and order us about and tell us what Pokemon we can and can't use. What's so bad about Vaporeon, guys? I don't get it. Yeah, sorry, Joe. You will have to Google that on your own. We can't explain it here, LML. Hey, Joe and Obama, look, I am absolutely destroying Donald with a fire type, and he's using a water type. Shows how weak he is, LMFAO. Hillary, you dumb bimbo, that is not even me. Joe just named this red-haired moron after me because he thinks he's a comedian now. Look, guys, Suicune, Raikou, and Entei all ran off, and Usain here is simping over them like Donald simps over Hillary LMAO. All right, boys, it's time to take on your fourth gym leader and watch as I absolutely destroy Morty. I'm so looking forward to watching you in an official gym badge, Hillary. You are so cool, OMG. Yeah, we are also close to getting Obama to evolve into a Typhlosion, and when we do, he will become the most OP ever. Yeah, until we get that Dratini with extreme speed, Hillary from Blackthorn City, which is being called Donald. Yeah, right, Donald. We are not naming a Dragonite after you, even though you are both orange. Wow, Hillary, you destroyed Morty so fast. That's amazing. I wish I could do that. Yeah, well done, Hillary. We are halfway through our heart gold journey now. Yeah, so guys, we now have a choice between going to Olivine City or Mahogany Town. So, uh, which do you want to do? If we want to play properly, we should go to Olivine City first, like Ash Ketchum did in the anime. This is one of the rare occasions where I will agree with you, Donald. And also, boys, can we talk about how Ash is now never going to be in the anime again? Yeah, Hillary, those final episodes with him battling Leon was amazing. And I was so happy to know he finally won the championship and is now the strongest trainer in the world. Yeah, and the scene where all of Ash's Pokemon gathered around Pikachu and gave him the strength to fight one more time against Charizard was so emotional, me and Michelle started crying. Oh wait, Obama, what is Donald here telling us about this city's gym leader? Well, Joe Jasmine has gone to the lighthouse to help the sick Ampharos there, so we have to go see if we can help her now. Oh yeah, uh, guys, check it, I've evolved into my final form. Nice, so now we have a Typhlosion, and oh yeah, Hillary, catch a Magikarp and name it Joe Biden for me, please, LMFAO. 
LMFAO Donald, that is pretty fucking funny since Magikarp is so useless like Joe. Oh, and here we have our Magikarp Lamau. Hillary, I can't believe you sided with Donald with this Magikarp bullshit. Sorry, Joe, but it's pretty funny. But remember, you will eventually evolve into Garados. So this is a small sacrifice you have to make for us. Yeah, now we can teach Joe surf and he can swim us across to the next town like a little Magikarp bitch. LMFAO jokes on all of you. Looks like I will be evolving now since Magikarp can't learn surf. Yeah, we evolved Joe into Gyarados, guys. Otherwise, we couldn't get to Chinwood City. But anyway, now we are here. We have to battle Usain and take on the fifth gym badge. Oh, wow. So we can catch Suicune now, guys, can't we? Not yet, Joe. We won't be able to catch Suicune for a very long time until we reach Kanto. Yeah, and watch now as I destroy Usain Joe and put Hillary to shame, LML. Yeah, good job, Donald. You took down Usain after I evolved Typhlosion, you simp. Hillary, shut your fucking mouth. You are just jealous that I have been playing way longer than you, and you have slowly weaseled your way into our playthroughs. Well, this weekend, we will be starting a new series and a brand new game, too. So please like and subscribe, everyone, and Hillary, fuck off. Yeah, well, Donald, I'm about to take on the fifth gym leader, which means I will have beaten two gym leaders in one video. What have you done, huh, you fat pig-faced bitch? All right, that was uncalled for. Hillary, apologize. First, apologize for being born. Oh, wow, okay, you two need to cool it now. And we should all focus on this gym battle that Hillary is struggling with. That's because she is using me against that polyrath, which is a water type, and I am about to die as well. Yeah, Hillary, why don't you use yourself since Ampharos is an electric type and so could have won by now? Well, check it out. I froze the Polyrath with Ice Fang, which means I will take this win. Thank you very much. This battle could have been over ages ago if you had used the proper type matchups, you dumb moron. How we won the Storm Badge, Donald. Does that remind you of anyone? Right, that's it. I am ending this episode here. So thanks for watching, everyone. And sorry, this is short. But Hillary is being so mean to me, so please remember to like and sub. And I am so upset, Hillary. Tell someone who cares, Donald LMAO, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching me play Pokemon with my best friends. All right, boys, we had some comments on this last video on how Hillary was being a bitch, so we ditched her in this episode, so it's just us boys again. Yeah, and check it, our egg has hatched into Togepi, so we will name him Rav, as requested by one of our viewers. Yeah, and one thing we did off screen was get the secret potion to give to Jasmine so she could heal up this Ampharos and get back to her gym, which will be super easy to beat with our Typhlosion. Oh, look how happy Ampharos is now, boys. It is feeling better and is now shining bright like a diamond like that Rihanna song. Yeah, I love that song, Donald, but now she's gone back to her gym. So we can head right there, Joe. Yeah, and in this gym, it's interesting because we don't have to battle any trainers other than Jasmine. They just thank us for helping her out. All right, Joe, I will be battling Jasmine, so watch how I obliterate her whole team with Obama here, LML. Yeah, this should be a clean sweep. Donald, this bitch going down faster than Joe took down your presidency. Obama, that is a shit analogy, seriously. But yeah, for a six gym battle, she is not difficult at all. Wow, her Steelix died so fast, Donald, that is amazing. And she has two Magnemite as well. I feel her team is pretty shit for a battle this late in the game, don't you think? Yeah, Joe, I agree. And she also gave us the TM for Iron Tail, which could be useful. But anyway, boys, it's time. We now head to Mahogany Town for our seventh gym battle. And there is some Team Rocket shit to do there, too, apparently. I think we should train up our RAV a bit, though, Obama, since it's only level one. So we should level our whole team up to around level 40 now, I think. The more over-leveled, the better, LML. Ooh, can I train it, please, guys? Joe, no, you can't because you are so slow that you have only made it this far with our help and Hillary. But if you were playing by yourself, I bet you wouldn't have made it past the first gym. Forget the first Jim Obama, he would still be drooling over youngster Joey LMFAO. But anyway, guys, we managed to evolve our Togepi and also found Suicune again. Yeah, and here is Usain simping over Suicune as usual, boys. Also, please comment down below what your favorite legendary Pokemon is. We would love to know, guys, and also remember to like and subscribe for more content from us. Hey, Obama, why did we skip that cave and not go through it? Because, Joe, there is nothing there for us to do except maybe battle the Karate Master, but he only gives us a tie rogue, which I don't want to use for our playthrough. I always loved Hitmonlee Obama since he reminded me of Bruce Lee, the most goaded person to exist. All right, guys, we have made it to Mahogany Town, and why the fuck does that tree have metal sticking out of it? It looks so suspicious, doesn't it? Joe, you dumb fucking fossil, that's the point. Team Rocket have secretly taken over this town, and we have to find out what they are doing. Yeah, so we are heading to the Lake of Rage now, Joe, and there will be a super rare shiny Pokemon there now. 
What the fuck, guys? The shiny Pokemon is a red Gyarados, and you caught a dumb, basic blue one when we could have had this red one and named it Joe Biden. Joe, not in any universe would we name a shiny Pokemon after you because you are not worthy. Yeah, Joe Donald is right, but don't kill it, okay? We should definitely catch this as it's a free shiny. Shut the fuck up, I know what I am doing. OMG, Joe, you fucking dumb, useless pigeon turd. Why the fuck would you use Hillary against it? Yeah, Joe, you fucking piece of shit. Why did you do that? That's what you both get for bullying me and not naming that Gyarados after me. Joe, you do realize you could have caught it and then released the blue one and named yourself after the shiny one, Elmo. Joe, sometimes you literally leave me speechless, which for me is almost impossible to do, as I always have something to say, LMFAO. Um, well, um, whatever, guys, let's just go back to the town and help Lance save the world. Yeah, it's now time to raid the Team Rocket Base, boys, and this part of the game is my absolute favorite. Lance literally uses a hyper beam attack against another person which would have killed him, MAO. Yeah, I am pretty sure Lance just committed murder, but who cares, LMAO's Dragonite is so cool. Wow, so Team Rocket used this store as a front for their base of operations that's so evil and devious. It's like how we have a secret presidential bunker underneath. Joe, you fucking moron. Don't finish that sentence and start giving out state secrets to random people on the internet willy-nilly. It's like having to watch a child inside a china shop who keeps touching everything with you seriously. Um, guys, we are so high-leveled at this point. There is no way we will lose any battles from now on. There is no way. Yeah, why are they using level 16 Pokemon and we are almost level 50? This doesn't make any sense. Donald, should we tell him or not? Nah? Um, I don't think we should Obama. Tell me what, guys, what are you both going on about? Well, Joe, we overleveled our Pokemon so we didn't have to deal with you embarrassing yourself and more so us with your shit gaming skills in front of our viewers. Fuck you both. I have improved so much and never asked you to do that for me in any way. Look after we battle this Team Rocket Scientist. We can hit a switch to turn off the security system, so I bet you didn't know we could do that. You fucking betas. Joe, you have been Googling the entire playthrough since the beginning using that guide on IGN. So don't act clever. And we are sitting right next to you as well, you dumbass. Whatever, guys, let's just get through this dumb base already. I love to imagine Lance just running through this base hyper-beaming every single Team Rocket grunt he comes across, LMAO. And he has three Dragonites on his team too, so they will never run out of energy. I think having three Dragonites is a bit lazy, since the devs probably didn't know what other Pokemon to give him, but... Anyway, Joe, you need to battle this grunt here and then another to the west, since we need two passwords to enter the office. I was just reading about the special events, Obama, so do you think we should do them after beating the game? Let's ask our viewers, Joe. If you guys would like to see us do the DLC events after we beat the game, such as the Celebi one or the spiky-eared Pichu one, then please comment down below and we shall look into it. But that's not a bad idea, Joe. Well done. All right, Joe. Now you got both the passwords you need to head to the office and find out who is causing all this drama. OMG, guys, looks it's Giovanni himself. No, it's not Joe, it's just Petrol, some Team Rocket admin guy. He does nothing and now you have to battle him. I don't remember these guys from the anime, do you, Obama? I don't, Donald, but he is in the special episodes on YouTube, which are so cool to watch as they follow the games, but... Anyway, Joe, you know, have to chase this Murkrow, and it will mimic the password for us to enter the power room. Yeah, I made it, Obama. I am not that dumb. Look, I made it here fine. Yeah, but now you have a double battle to do, Joe, with Lance, which should be interesting. Joe, if you just keep spamming Lava Plume, you can hit multiple Pokemon at once so we can win this fast, and with you battling, I would appreciate that. Yeah, but I am hurting Lance's poor Dragonite Obama, and he is so cute and on our team. Joe, stop simping. Lance has two more Dragonites. It's not like he will run out anytime soon, especially with you battling. Yeah, actually, this is so easy, taking two Pokemon down with one move, Obama. Thanks for that advice. Maybe I can use this tactic and take down two youngster Joeys at the same time. L-M-A-O. Oh, Lordy Lord Joe, please shut your fucking mouth and play the game. What do I do now, Obama? You have to fight all the Electro Joe and make them faint so they stop providing power to the generator and then we can leave this shithole. Well, that was easy. So well done, Joe. You have now destroyed this base and we can take on our seventh gym, which is an ice type gym. With Typhlosion, that will be easy. All right, Joe, don't fuck this up. And also his ice types are also water types too. So be careful and don't make me faint. I am leading off with Rollout Obama and we shall see how much damage this will do. Not even half Joe and we are so high level too. So now what will you do? I killed it, Donald, with another rollout. So shut the fuck up, bitch, and bow down to the greatness, which is Joe Biden. Joe, he still has three more Pokemon, so don't get arrogant. 
This pill of swine is gonna die to me too, Obama. There is no way I shall lose more. Ha 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 ha. All right, Joe, he has a dugong now, which is super effective against us, and it will definitely have water type moves. So now what will you do? Oh, this bitch has rest, what the fuck, guys, and I burned it too. LMAO, and he has sleep talk on it, Joe, so you will take damage even whilst he is asleep. LMFAO. Luckily, he's using ice shard, though, Donald, so I should have this in the bag now, GG to him. LMAO, Joe. He recovered again. I feel you're gonna be at this for ages. So how about Donald and I go to a bar and come back later, since you are proving how shit you are to us once again? Obama, don't fucking go anywhere. I just beat this white-haired ice-type bitch, so now bow down to me, Joe Biden. Wow, he did it, Obama El Mao, after what felt like an eternity. Yeah, and now upon leaving, we will get a phone call from Professor Elm, saying Team Rocket has taken over Goldenrod City or something. Joe, so we will do all that shit in the next episode, so thanks for watching, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe and we hope you have a lovely rest of your day. All right, boys, it's now time to head to Goldenrod City and take down Team Rocket, so Joe, get going. Yeah, Obama, I am so looking forward to showing all our viewers how strong I have become now, so please like and sub everyone, and thank you for all the support. All right, Joe, you will notice that Team Rocket has taken over Goldenrod City, so first you need to head into the underground and get the Team Rocket disguise, and then you need to head to the radio tower and beat the grunts. Wouldn't it have been so cool to be able to change into the Team Rocket grunt outfit whenever we wanted guys instead, this one time only? I would love to then go around Johto scaring all the people, LMAO. Yeah, Obama, that would have been a cool feature, but anyway, look, Joe is about to storm the radio tower. Guys, what was the point of me wearing this fucking uniform? If Donald here was just gonna come and ruin our disguise for us, it makes no sense at all, seriously. Yeah, that was one thing that always bothered me about this game too, Joe. We only wear the disguise for like 10 seconds and then Donald ruins it. For fuck's sake, you two, that guy is not me, so shut the fuck up, especially you, Joe. You wouldn't have even left New Bark Town if you didn't have me helping you. Actually, I would Donald because there's this new thing called Google, and also I have Obama, and I have already made it to the director's room in the radio tower. So fuck you, Donald. Well, Joe, you gotta beat Petrol here again, but I say we edit this battle out as he literally has six coughing. Yeah, and now, Joe, you need to head into the underground again and find the real director because he has been stashed there. I wish someone would stash you where no one could find you either. Be careful, Donald. You are threatening a current president, and your list of felonies is already huge, so let's not make it bigger. LMFAO. All right, Joe, insult Donald later, because right now you have to beat him in Pokemon battle, and he will have a Feraligator too. So be careful, and don't fuck this battle up. Obama, ever since we got Flamethrower and Lava Plume, we have literally become so OP that nothing will stand in our way. But I do think we should get Thunder Punch and teach it to our Typhlosion, don't you agree? I do agree with you, Joe, for once you say something useful. However, we do have Hillary to cover us from Water-type moves, and Lance because has all flying types, so when you battle him, it should be easy. Oh yeah, guys, you do realize we could catch Raikou and Entei and use them as part of our team right now if we wanted. Then we would have two legendaries with us. I don't know, Obama using legendaries feels cheap. Plus, if we do that, we won't be able to get that Dratini with extreme speed. And Dragonite is basically a legendary. Actually, Donald Dragonite is classified as a pseudo-legendary, not an actual legendary. Holy shit, Joe, how do you know what a pseudo-legendary is all of a sudden? Yeah, even I am surprised by this new revelation, Obama. How the fuck do you know that, Joe? Well, pseudo-legends are called as such due to the fact that their base total stats are very high, almost into legendary territory, and in some cases are even higher. We are just ignoring this battle with Archer because my mind is literally not comprehending what's going on with Joe right now. Yeah, Obama Joe seems to have turned into a Pokemon nerd, which is not a bad thing at all. It's probably his best trait now. Yeah, and he even beat Archer without breaking a sweat. Well, that was a really easy battle, and with Hillary by my side, we are so OP. And look, Joe, we got the rainbow wing now, which means we can go and get ho wo after the 8th gym badge is beaten. All right, we decided to edit most of the ice path out as nothing interesting happened, but now we have made it to the end. So Joe solved this puzzle and saved the kimono girl, and then we can head into Blackthorn City. Aren't you both proud I made it through the ice path all by myself? Well, not really, Joe, because you decided to use a guide on YouTube even though the ice path is so easy to get through, but you still needed help, LMFAO. That's because you and Donald left me and went bowling again, and I had no idea what to do. Yeah, well, the only thing you have to do now is head to the gym and destroy Claire Joe, and this battle should be easy for us since we are so OP. 
Oh, I will beat this bitch on my first try, Donald. She will not be able to stand in the way of Joe Biden, the hero that saved Jodo from Team Rocket. Joe, you're not a hero, but anyway, it's now time for our eighth gym battle, boys. And let's make it a memorable one too, Joe, so don't die. All right, Joe, she has sent out Garados, and with Hillary, you should be fine. But remember, this is the eighth gym, so don't expect it to be easy. How the fuck did she outspeed us, though we are way higher leveled? Joe, don't focus on that. We still one-shot her, so now take care of her dragon hair. Wow, Hillary is really holding on here, isn't she, guys? Yeah, but now that bitch is going down in an LMFAO, and she isn't here to defend herself. Donald, shut your fucking mouth. I will always be better than you, so take Joe's advice, which he said in platinum, and stick your dick in a blender. Wait, what the hell? Was that Hillary just now? Yeah, what the fuck? She just spawned in here unannounced. Hey, Hillary! I think she's gone, guys. I'm not sure she was even here. Anyway, who gives a fuck about her? We need to focus on beating this Kingdra Joe. Well, I am really struggling here, boys, and also, if you both have noticed, I have gone through this entire playthrough without healing, pretty much. She's taken down two of our Pokemon now, Joe. I swear to God, if you lose this. Our Rev has this in the bag, Obama, although I still think this Pokemon is shit, and whoever suggested it does not know Pokemon like I do. Yeah, well, it beat Kingdra Donald and also stop insulting our viewers. Whatever, Joe, I know best, so they're... Hang on, why isn't Claire giving us the gym badge? Because, Joe, she is a salty bitch and doesn't believe she lost to you, which is understandable, but anyway, we need to head to the Dragon Shrine behind the gym and take the test there, and then she will give us the badge. All right, Joe, you need to answer this test properly so we get extreme speed, and if you fuck this up, I will throw the DS at your head. All right, we did the test, everyone, and now this bitch is back here still salty. I watched the Johto series anime last week, and Claire wasn't like this in the show, so I don't know why the game designers made her like this here. Me neither, Joe, but anyway, look, we finally got the rising badge, which means we now have all eight, so yay us. Yeah, but more importantly, we can get Dratini now, boys, and I have been waiting for this moment since we began this playthrough. Oh, look, he's talking to us about Lugia now. Do you think we can catch him, too? We will only be able to get Lugia when we get to Pewter City and Kanto Joe, because we need the Silver Wing, and Lugia will be level 70, so we are not ready for that yet. That's not even how you pronounce his name, boys. But anyway, Joe, go back to the shrine and get Dratini now. All right, since I beat Claire, I get to name it, and I have the perfect name for our little Dratini. Joe, shut your fucking mouth and name it Donald. I have not waited this long for you to give Dratini a dumb fucking name. Donald, be quiet, you fat piggy. I will be naming our Dratini Aura because it's a perfect name for Dratini. Right, let's check it out then, Joe. What the fuck, it's only level 15, boys. Joe, if you had named it after me, I would have happily trained it up for you to level 50. But since you didn't, you can fucking train it yourself, you useless piece of shit. Donald, it's no big deal, so calm down. And now, boys, I'll be catching our last Pokemon for the team, which will make you happy, Donald, because you suggested it. Oh, yeah, Obama, you got hair across. With this, nothing will stand in our way now. And since it's also so low leveled, Joe will be spending his evening leveling Dratini and Heracross up for us, Donald. So how about you and I go play some tennis? Fine, but I am naming it Blue Boy because it is blue. Go fuck yourself, Joe. But anyway, boys, how about we call it an episode? We did quite a lot of stuff in this one. So if you all enjoyed yourselves, please remember to like and subscribe. And we all hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Okay, welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. And as you can see, we did some training off screen. And now we have a Dragonair, so we hope you enjoy the video. And please remember to like and subscribe. Dear God, please never let Joe do an intro again, Obama. He is so useless. Noted Donald. He messaged me last night on Insta and said if he could do the intro in this video since I made him edit. But, yeah, Joe, that was a bad intro, so you are fired. But anyway, boys, we are heading to Ecrutique City now to battle those hot kimono girls, and then we will be catching Ho-Oh. Elmau, Donald, you lost to them. You are so shit. Elmau, Elmau, Elmau. Okay, we will see how well you do then against them, Joe. And if you fuck this up, you won't play anymore with us, and you will only watch. All right, Joe, there are six of them and you will battle each of the evolutions. I remember in the original games we could rest after each one, but in this version it's way more difficult and we won't be able to rest, so be prepared, Joe. All right, thanks, Obama, let's do this. Joe, this will be your pre-battle warm-up for the Elite Four, so make sure you remember the type matchups and everything, okay? Donald, I am not a fucking baby, so stop bossing me about you fucking baboon. Joe, you're already doing shit and this is the first battle. So why don't you shut the fuck up and focus on the battle, you useless pigeon turd? Joe, how the fuck did you let our Dragonair die? Seriously, you're so fucking useless. It's not my fault I got confused, was it you two? And with Donald yelling at me with his fucking opinions every three seconds, it is really distracting. 
If you had listened to my fucking opinions, Joe, then we wouldn't have been in this mess and our dragon air wouldn't be dead, would it? Obama, OMG, please tell Donald if he doesn't shut up, I will make sure he's in prison by the time this video ends. He is really pissing me off and distracting me. I swear to God, I will get Dragonite to use Hyperbeam against him too. All right, all right, calm down, Joe, and Donald, shut the fuck up so we don't have to do this battle all over again when Joe loses LML. Fine, Joe, and it's good you are already on the third battle, but I am still very angry that you lost Dragonair. He is meant to be the strongest member of our team. Yeah, and now somehow Joe lost himself against a Flareon. Joe, how do you lose a water type to a fire type, seriously? Gyarados was already so low in HP Obama, so that's why now you shut your fucking mouth too seriously. Apparently, this kimono girl was spying on us in the dragon's den. When we were doing that quiz, guys, she would be a good match for Joe, since she likes to creep on 10-year-olds, too. OMG Joe, you have already lost three of our Pokemon now, and you tell me I can't yell at him, Obama? Fine, go ahead, Donald, I agree. Joe is so shit at Pokemon battles, and we are way higher leveled, too. Guys, you do realize there is only like two more of them left to battle, so considering that, I think I have done really well. LMAO, look, she has a Vaporeon, Obama. Elmao Donald, and it's a male one, too. LMAO, of course, she would have a male one. Guys, you mentioned this Vaporeon thing when Hillary was here, and I still don't get it. Yeah, and Joe, we still won't be telling you what it's about. LMAO, you are too immature to handle that kind of information. Well, whatever, boys, check it out. I beat them all, and now this cute little girl has shown up. I wonder if she has a phone, too. Dear God, Joe, shut your mouth and head to the bell tower because it's time to catch ho -Oh. Look, guys, I made it to the top of the tower all by myself without a guide this time, too. I love this part, guys, when they do their dance and ho -Oh flies down. It's so pretty and cool, too, don't you think? Agreed, Obama, but I wish Ho-Oh had more screen time in the anime because out of every legendary in the entire series, I swear Ho-Oh was the least seen. I know, right, Donald, and another thing that pissed me off was them removing Arceus's voice. Like, in his movie, he could talk, but every appearance after, he doesn't say anything, and he is the literal god of everything. Look, guys, stop getting distracted because Ho-Oh is here now, and I will be the one to catch him. All right, Joe, here we go. Let's not fuck this up, too. And I hope you have enough Ultra Balls, too. We will be fine, Donald. And I don't know what you mean by Ultra Balls, but I have Poke Balls. Oh, my fucking God, Joe, don't tell me you didn't get any Ultra Balls, you fucking useless parsnip-faced idiot. Well, I clearly didn't. If I don't know what they are, I thought I could just use normal ones. Jesus Christ, I don't even know why I'm surprised, Obama. Okay, we cut here because we were literally launching Poke Balls at Ho-Oh for what felt like an eternity. No thanks to Joe, but we finally caught it. Well, look, even though that took ages, at least we got it, so you should both be happy, right, guys? Joe, just shut the fuck up for the rest of the video before I abuse you. But anyway, Obama, we need to make a switch now. Um, Donald, what are you doing with Togekis? I am swapping that sack of shit out for ho -Oh Obama because one of our viewers called Muda told me to shut up and then proceeded to lecture me on base stats of a Pokemon I don't give a fuck about. So until he apologizes, we will be using ho -Oh. And by the way, Muda ho -Oh has way higher base stats than your shitty Togekis. So what you got to say to that? Okay, Donald, I get you are angry with Joe, but please stop taking your rage out on our viewers. And also, you were the one who said using legendaries in our playthrough would be overkill. You both just ignored the fact that we are now in the Kanto region. We noticed Joe, but Donald shouldn't be bullying our viewers. He should be bullying you, Elmao. But yeah, welcome to Kanto, everyone. And now we head towards the Pokemon League Joe, or Indigo Plateau, I should say. This game has the best post game of any game in the series, don't you both think? Oh yeah, Donald, it's not even a competition. Heart Gold and Soul Silver have the best post game story. It's just so fucking good. Being able to revisit all the cities from Gen 1, but in the updated graphics of the time was one of the best things ever, and challenging all the gyms as well was just insane. I also love that we can catch so many legendary Pokemon too and battle red at the end. I just want to catch that damn Suicune Obama ever since he turned into Jesus and ran on the water. We will find Suicune Joe. And also we asked you guys if you wanted to see us do some of the DLC events. And you all said we should if we could, so we will take a look into all of that after beating the game. Look boys, I made it to the Pokemon League already so easily, so now let's battle the Elite Four. Joe, you fucking idiot. This isn't the Indigo Plateau, it's just the badge check gate. We still need to get through Victory Road and also do some training. Because after witnessing you against those kimono girls, we won't stand a chance against the Elite Four in our current state. Okay, boys, I did a shit ton of training, and now I believe we have to battle Donald for the final time before taking on the Elite Four. How much training did you do, Joe? 
Well, I may have overdone it actually, guys, because I am scared of the Elite Four. Joe, what the fuck did you level everyone up to level 70 plus? Well, you both told me to do some training, so I did, and here we are now. Well, I guess since you will be the one taking on the Elite Four and Lance, then the team should be higher leveled than normal. And I wouldn't be surprised if you lost at this level either. Look, guys, our ho -Oh is destroying his entire team. Yeah, and that fucking Tiga Kiss wouldn't be able to do this LMFAO. I'm a bit disappointed that Donald didn't bother getting his team to their final evolutions for this battle. He could have had a Gengar or Magnazone by now. For the last fucking time, Obama stopped referring this NPC guy as me because he is not. Well, whatever you have been beaten for the final time, Donald L. Mao, so now fuck off and go cry about it. Actually, Joe, this won't be the final time we battle him, but well done anyway, and now we can actually head into the Indigo Plateau for real Joe. Awesome, guys, we are finally here, so how about we call it an episode? Yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. And in the next episode, we will be taking on the Elite Four and possibly Lance, depending on how well Joe does. So please remember to like the video and subscribe, and I will think about swapping ho -Oh out too. All right, boys, here we are about to take on the Elite Four, and when I say we, I mean Joe, so please remember to like and subscribe, everyone. Yeah, boys, I am so ready to take on the Elite Four. You have no idea with our high-leveled team, so they better be prepared. Bet you have also been preparing with all that cocaine you've snorted Joe L.M. Fow. I don't know what you are talking about, Obama, but look, guys, this the team that shall lead us to victory. I thought I would give a quick overview before we take on the Elite Four. Yeah, and with Ho-O, we will be unstoppable, LMO. Nothing will get in our way, even with Joe battling. I am still not happy about Ho-O being on our team, Donald. It just seems too much using a legendary on the team. Fuck off, Obama. You wanted to use Arceus in Platinum, which is the most overkill you can get. Yeah, but you are just using some oversized chicken whilst Arceus is the goat. I think using Mega Rayquaza would have been even more fun to use, boys. He is just so OP. All right, Joe, time to concentrate. So I hope you took your dementia pills and are ready for the first member of the Elite Four. He uses psychic types, too. Now, nah, this will be a clean sweep, Obama Wagwan. I have so got this. With our Dragonite, too, I will just Dragon Pulse my way to victory. The thing about Dragonite is that it can use so many different types of moves that it can basically cover all bases. Also, off screen, we went and taught some useful TMs to our Pokemon before the Elite Four to make them even stronger. Yeah, we taught quite a few TMs to our team guys and also, well done Joe for switching out to Typhlosion for the Ice type. I always thought Jinx reminded me of a hooker and it's one of the few Pokemon we basically never see in the anime too. Jinx would be the perfect Pokemon for Donald then, don't you agree Obama LMFAO? Shut the fuck up Joe, at least I am not a crack addict like you and I can actually get laid too. You look like a ghost and are basically dead anyway. Yeah, the only thing you get laid with is a Jinx LMFAO. But anyway, look, boys, I beat the first member of the Elite Four. It was so easy. Well done, Joe, but don't get too arrogant. It's now time to take on Koga, who uses poison types. I remember Koga Obama. He used to be in the original games, but now he's an Elite Four member. Yeah, his daughter Janine is now the gym leader. And we will have to battle her in the post game at some point, Donald. Some of the Pokemon these Elite Four members use are so forgetful, like who the fuck would ever use a Foratress in a playthrough? You have probably offended someone with that remark, Joe. But that brings me to a question, which Pokemon do you guys use the most in playthrough of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver? Excluding the starter, please comment down below. A Pokemon I wish we could use was Golem Boys, but having to trade to evolve it is probably one of the worst features in the entire series, seriously. It's such BS. Oh, I agree, Donald, that feature is so dumb. I really wanted to use Magmortar and Diamond and Pearl, but couldn't because you had to trade for it and it pissed me off so much. That was the reason I invaded Yemen. Wow, Obama. So instead of going to therapy or eating an ice cream, you decided to take your frustrations out on the wonderful people in Yemen all because you couldn't be bothered to call me up to evolve a Magmortar. That sounds like Obama, but to be fair to him, I wouldn't want to call you either Joe, but well done for making it to Bruno now, by the way. He is probably my favorite member of the Elite Four. Bruno is so cool, isn't he? Donald, back in my youth, I wanted to be as ripped as him, but unfortunately, I had a country to run. Well, your idol is getting destroyed by me, Obama, so how does that make you feel? I hope you feel so upset inside and jealous because he is losing to me of all people and I am useless, LMO. Joe, why would I ever be jealous of you? Out of the three of us, I am the only one who did two terms as president. And I could have stayed on if I wanted, but thought, nah, it would be better to give you fucktards a chance. 
Fuck off, Obama. You may have done two terms as president, but I have made it to the fourth elite four member by myself with no help from any of you. So how does that make you feel? LMFAO, Joe, you are still shit at Pokemon battles. Remember, you lost to Whitney LML. But you told me you also lost to Whitney to Obama. So how is that an insult to me? He was lying, Joe, because Obama is actually a good player, unlike you, LML. But now I am wondering how many of our viewers lost to Whitney on their first try. So please comment down below if you have, and then you can be part of the same club as Joe Biden. So live with that for the rest of your lives, LMFAO. God, imagine being in the same club as Joe LML. I would just leave society and live in a cave in Yosemite or something if that were me. I thought you guys would have been more proud of me for beating the Elite Four all on my first try with the team we all built together, two boys. Why aren't you happy at all? Because you now need to battle Lance Joe, and also you were like 30 levels higher than all of them, so it wasn't actually a challenge. Give me any game, then Donald and I will fuck everyone up in it because I am the one and only Joe Biden. All right then, Joe, we will give you Pokemon Emerald Kaizo or Pokemon Blaze Black 2 Redux and see how you do in those, you arrogant shit. Yeah, comment down below which one you'd like to see Joe play out of those two games, everyone, because he is really getting super cocky now and it's annoying. I am already destroying Lance and his Dragonites with our one boys. So those other games you mentioned will be a joke. I am pretty sure Emerald Kaizo is considered one of the most difficult Pokemon games to play Joe and I have played and didn't make it past the first gym. Well, Obama, if you can't even make it past the first gym, it means you are so shit because I made it past the first gym in our heart gold and platinum playthroughs. L-M-F-A-O. Joe, you just got our Dragonite killed, you fucking moron, and you say you're good? Donald, you haven't actually done anything in this entire playthrough except criticize everything I have done? That's because, Joe, you have made some choice options in this playthrough, and yet somehow we have still made it to the champion battle. Yeah, and I just fucking won, so shut your fat orange mouth and bow down to me, Donald. I do have to say well done to him, Donald, since he did actually beat all of them without our help, and he only lost one Pokemon and didn't heal either. A fucking three-year-old could have beaten them Obama with the levels Joe had. Oh, a three-year-old, where, where, tell me? Dear God, Joe, look in a mirror and you will find the three-year-old. All right, boys, here we are in the Hall of Fame. Well done, Joe. I will agree with Obama. You deserve at least a well done for making it all the way here by yourself somehow, by some miracle. You can't even say well done without sounding like a dick, Donald, but thanks, I guess. And now look, we can see all the Pokemon that helped us get this far, and I do feel Tegekis should have been here too, since it did help us a lot. Fuck Tegekis, Joe. I will release that flying pancake after the credits are done, but anyway, I just want to say thank you to everyone for watching, and we hope you enjoyed us beating the Elite Four. And next we will be heading to Kanto and taking on all the gyms there, so please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon too. Thank you for watching. Okay, everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Heart Gold. And today, boys, we will be heading to the Kanto region, so please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our content. That's right, Obama. And we are still in pursuit of that fucking Suicune, which I really, really want. OMG, it's Cameron the photographer. I've never seen him in New Barktown, though, boys. At the end of this series, we should go to our PC and look at all the photos he took of us. But first, we need that SS ticket so we can get the ship from Olivine City to Vermilion City. Do you boys think we should try catch all the other legendary Pokemon? The only thing I want to do in this game is that Arceus event, since he is so cool and can create us a legendary Pokemon. Yeah, he will create us a Dialga, Palkia, or Giratina, I think, Joe. But we need to activate that event, which I think we should do after beating Red. Oh, look, it's Professor Oak, boys. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's going to upgrade our Pokedex to the National Dex, so we can encounter the Kanto Pokemon Joe. And if I remember correctly, some of our viewers a few episodes ago told us we should try do all the events, so we should listen to them, Joe. The Giovanni event is a cool one too, by the way. Oh God, Obama, I forgot about this part of the game. We should have told Joe to get us some kombucha or something whilst you and I played this bit. Oh fuck yeah, Joe. I'm playing this bit, otherwise we will be here forever if you play. Oh yay, this is the bit where we have to find the lost child, isn't it? Oh fucking hell, he knows about this part of the game, Donald. He has had the IGN guide up the entire time we have been playing, and I noticed a separate tab open in his Chrome browser for this specific part of the game since we beat Whitney, and I only understand why Joe had that open now, Obama. Hey, I was really looking forward to helping that little girl Donald, and now you have ruined it for me, you fucking orange baboon. Joe, you are the baboon here still hitting on little girls and unzipping your pants all the time, you fucking creep. Obama, as I said in our platinum playthrough, my flyers got stuck and it just so happened to get stuck again, so shut the fuck up. 
Wow, these cruise ships have Nintendo Wii's in them. That's so cool. I know, right, Donald? Maybe we should go on a cruise together one day, just us three. But anyway, it's now time to go see the captain, because that's where the little girl is. Hey, Obama, it's not fair that this old man here gets to be with this girl, but you won't let me play this part of the game. Joe, I'm literally saving you from impeachment, so drop it and let's just get this dumb side mission done so we can get to Vermilion City already. Fine, Obama, and thank you for looking out for my best interests. I don't give a fuck about you, Joe. I just don't want Donald getting a second term so I can always have that over him, LMFAO. Fuck you, Obama. Just wait till I am out of prison, then I shall have my second term and be known as the Pokemon president. Who wouldn't want a president who loves Pokemon? I will get so many fucking votes, LMAO. Except you will probably use an action replay to hack the voting machines, Donald, if you want to be a Pokemon president. LMAO, Joe, that was pretty funny, but anyway, boys, check it out. We have finally made it to Vermilion City. Ooh, look, it was Suicune Obama, and now this idiot you seen is back again trying to steal him from us. Joe, you do realize we will be able to catch it still later, but it will go to one more place before we can. And we won't get to that place for a while, I think. That's fine, Donald Suicune isn't gonna go anywhere. And anyway, whilst we are here, we may as well take on the gym, which in my opinion has the stupidest, most annoying puzzle in any game. It literally exists to piss the player off. I don't remember this puzzle, Obama. What is it again? Joe, you can't even remember what you said three seconds ago, LMFAO, but anyway, we have to find two switches in these trash cans placed around the gym. But it's just so stupid. Yeah, we cut to the gym leader because this gym is just the fucking worst. But anyway, let's get this shit done, Obama. LT Surge is going down. Wow, this gym leader has Pokemon at a high level than the elite foreign champion. Yeah, but thanks to our training and Dragonite, we will easily sweep through this entire team. That's all thanks to me, Obama. I did all that fucking training and you both take the credit, you parasites. Joe, shut the fuck up. And by the way, be a doll and get our team to at least level 85 before the next episode, will you, Keith? Thanks. LML Joe is always going to be our bitch, isn't he, Obama? Why stop at level 85? He should get them all to 90. What I am wondering is why Surge here doesn't have a fully evolved team. I mean, how hard would it have been for the game devs to give him a Magnezone instead of Magneton? Because they are fucking lazy, Obama, like they were with Scarlet and Violet, and look how great those useless games turned out. But at least we have beaten Surge now anyway. Yeah, we got our ninth badge, boys. Well done. Now I think we should head north to Saffron City. And what's cool in this game is that we can battle the gyms in any order we want, but I guess we could take on Sabrina next. Sabrina is renowned to be one of the most difficult gym leaders, but when Joe gets our team to level 90, it will be so easy, LMFAO. Yeah, thanks, Joe, for being so kind and volunteering again to train our team some more. I never, ever, never, ever fucking volunteered, Obama. You just volunteered for me, you moron. No one asked you, Joe, so get on that after we have finished recording, thanks. But anyway, we have this tiny route to get through before Saffron City Boys. I think we should at least try Catch Mewtwo after beating all the Kanto gyms, guys. We could even use it against Red. Who would we replace Mewtwo with, though, Obama? We will replace Mewtwo with our oversized rainbow chicken since we don't need two legendaries on our team. As long as we don't use that to get kiss, I don't care what we replace Mewtwo with Obama except Typlosion and Dragonite. I say we get rid of Hillary LMFAO. Fuck you, Donald. If you get rid of me, I will fucking bitch slap you every day whilst you are in prison and have my speeches play on repeat for you in your prison cell TV. Oh, hey, Hillary. I think she's gone, Joe. What the fuck that bitch just randomly appears, insults me, then leaves like nothing happened. I am also confused by this Donald. It's like she knows every time you insult her, but you do ask for it, LMFAO. Anyway, check it. This is Mr. Psychic's house where we can get the TM for Psychic. Yeah, and that's about it for Saffron City Boys. So next time we will take on Sabrina with our hair across. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like and subscribe, and also comment down below on if you think we should use Mewtwo or not. Have a lovely rest of your day. Hey everyone, and welcome back to Heart Gold, where we will be taking on Sabrina today. But something we would like to discuss before the battle is we have been debating on if we should speed up the game or not, which we experimented with in this video, and have come to the conclusion that we will be keeping the game sped up. And the reason is that we try to upload videos every day. So for the sake of getting content out to you all as fast as we can, as well as taking into account time for editing and other things we have to do in our life, this is the conclusion we have come up with. So we hope you all understand and apologize as well for the changes in speed you will see in the first few minutes of the video. Yeah, it's just, we have a lot going on in our lives outside YouTube, so 
We hope you understand why we are keeping the game sped up, and we apologize if some of you don't like this, but this is something we may consider changing in the future. I mean, I am an acting president, so have other things to do as well, other than play Pokemon. But see, I still sit here and upload content for you all every day, so you should all be thanking me by liking the video and subscribing, and also joining our channel if you feel like it as well. Joe, it's not just you uploading content, you idiot. Obama and myself sit here all day too, since he has nothing better to do, and in between my court hearings, I am free. So I make the thumbnails and edit sometimes as well too. So shut it and beat Sabrina for us. Whatever Donald and look, she's getting absolutely destroyed by us already. And she is on her last Pokemon too, so we have nothing to worry about LML. Joe, I was gonna yell at you for not getting our Pokemon up to level 85, like we told you to in the last video. But I am glad you didn't because we are already very high leveled and these gyms are so easy. Yeah, I think we shouldn't do any more training, boys, until maybe we get to Red since his Pokemon are all in the high 80s. Fine, guys, we will keep our team around the level 70 area for now. And look, we have made it to one of my favorite cities in Pokemon, Cerulean City. This is also one of my favorite cities, Joe. Please leave a comment and let us know which city is your favorite in the Pokemon world. Sunny Shore City in Sinnoh is also another favorite of mine, too. But Anyway, Joe, we have to go to the Nugget Bridge here, like in the OG games, and also head to the power plant as most of Kanto is shut down because of the power plant not working. Yeah, we will sweep through these peasant trainers and get a nugget at the end, which we can sell to make bank, Joe. Also, this is the city where that moron was selling a bike for like a billion dollars. Oh, I remember that in Fire Red and Leaf Green, Donald, and I don't think we could actually get that amount of money to begin with, but I still tried. Joe, you're the type of person who believed there was a Mew under that truck in Vermilion City, LMFAO. I remember you telling me about that when you were the VP. LMAO, what an idiot. He actually believed that Obama. Joe is also the type of person to start crying as soon as he entered Lavender Town because of the music. Hey, listen, Donald, that almost gave me PTSD. I don't like ghosts, and that town is full of them. Especially that graveyard tower. It freaked me out more than your face does. That's funny considering you look like a ghost yourself, Joe. Oh, hey, look, it's Bill's house, boys. I remember when he turned himself into a Pokemon. Wait, Bill turned himself into a Pokemon? OMG, Joe, you played Fire Red with Obama. You should remember, you moron. Why would Bill Clinton turn himself into a Pokemon? I need to give Hillary a quick DM and ask her about this. You moron, Joe, not that Bill. This is Bill who created the PC system in the Pokemon world and TBH. I would rather have had Bill from Pokemon as our president instead of that other idiot. But anyway, it is what it is. Okay, boys, I made it to the power plant, and this police guy's is a saying some shady figure is skulking around the Cerulean gym. Yeah, we gotta get that machine part back, Joe. I bet that shady guy is Joe too, LMAO. Wouldn't surprise me, Donald LMAO, but anyway, Joe, hurry up and get in the gym, will you? By the way, guys, we had some comments in the last video saying it would be cool if we put Mewtwo on our team, so I say we replace Ho-Oh with it and we can teach Fly to our Dragonite. No, Joe, I like Ho-Oh, -Oh. he is our rainbow chicken. Wait, I thought we beat Team Rocket, boys. Why the heck is this guy here now? Didn't he get the memo? Well, clearly he didn't, Joe, and I am not sure why he even stole the machine part to begin with. It makes no sense. But anyway, after this, we will absolutely never see them again. Oh yeah, guys, like I predicted, our Pokemon Violet video did so well, so we will be continuing that as a full series along with our other ones. I don't actually mind playing it, Joe, it's just... For some reason, it doesn't really feel like Pokemon to me, and I'm not sure why it doesn't. I like some of the new Pokemon designs and new features, but for me, Pokemon Heart Gold was peak Pokemon, as well as Gen 5. Oh yeah, we had a comment regarding Gen 5, Donald. And yes, we will be playing Pokemon Black and White and Black and White 2 at some point, but we have so many series going right now, we feel we should finish one of them before starting a new one. And so far, this game is the closest to being done. Yeah, we got our 10th badge today, and maybe in the next episode we can take on two gyms as well as maybe catch some legendaries too. Something I was also thinking we could do was swap some of our team members out for new ones. Joe, have you started doing crack as well now? What do you mean, Donald? Joe, why on earth would you want to swap some of our team members out at this point? And we already had this discussion too, but you forgot again, didn't you? Well, I thought it would be nice to try some new Pokemon out now. Joe, if you do that, then you will be the one leveling them all up for us, and we don't have time for that either. You have to play Platinum next, and then upload our second episode of Violet. Actually, Donald, I kind of wanted to play Sword and Shield as well, since those games were ones I actually enjoyed quite a lot, believe it or not. Joe, we can have that discussion tonight after the presidential meeting, but well done for returning the machine part. And because of that, we can progress through the post-game 
and visit more cities. Yeah, I think after doing this, Moltres, Zapdos, and Articuno become available to use guys so we could catch them next. Good idea, Donald. But anyway, let's end this episode here, boys. Thank you for watching, everyone. And please remember to leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day. Joe is an idiot, LMFAO. Tally ho, tally ho. Here we go, boys, back with Pokemon Heart Gold. Tally ho today. We're going to do some more battling and stuff and take a visit to yep, Joe's yep, PTSD yep, yep. town. Joe coming in hot with those Avatar references. Yip, yip, yip. Here we go, boys. Taking on these three hoodlums with coughing. These three are just coughing simps and so annoying guys watch our ho -oh take them down like I've taken all those youngsters downtown. I know, right, Joe? But we have got to send you to a therapist ASAP because I'm starting to feel sorry for these youngsters. And they ain't even real. But anyway, boys, how's your week been? It's Saturday already. Time flies, doesn't it? Oh yeah, Barry, this week has been the shit. I got so stoned in the White House and have still managed to record and upload our videos every day this week. So give me some credit here, will you? On top of that, we are so close to 1,000 subscribers to please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Yeah, Obama, I've also been busy with the FBI raiding more of my houses. So I gotta be one step ahead of them. And at the same time, make sure to attend my court dates on time. And if it was Joe, he would miss them all because he'd probably oversleep. Hey, check it, it's Grimer, boys, and guess what his evolution is? Such a child, Joe, it's Muck, but we will be ending this conversation right here, Speak of the devil, here he is the big man himself. Right, Donald, take this thing out before our channel gets banned. Fuck, we got hit with Sludge Bomb by Muck, uh-oh. One more Thunderbolt and he's dead, Donald, get on it now. Hey, you two. I wanted Muck to hang around a bit more, but it is what it is, I guess. And by the way, where's my Suicune? Up your ass, Joe, and guys, I want to say after this series is done, I say we run the game on normal speed on our other playthroughs as I think more people will like that. No, Obama, I will decide that thanks not them as I am Donald J. Trump and just overall better than everyone. And I'm so great and amazing and handsome. Great ego more like- Fuck off, Joe. You wouldn't have made it this far without my help. So who cares if my ego is big when I am right all the time anyway? Donald, you were only a president, but meanwhile, Joe is actually the current president and he is the champion of Jodo and Kanto. Whatever, Obama, I'm actually getting more pissed off with this idiot trainer with three Magnemites. Why would he do this? So salty and got no comeback to me being the champ, Donald L. Mau. Right, Joe, you are cruising for a bruising champ. Just wait till I get my hands on you. No violence is allowed here, Donald. You already embarrassed the country when you started that riot, so we don't need any more embarrassment when Joe beats your sorry ass LMFAO. Ah, uh, we are in Lavender Town now, boys. I hate this town so much it stresses me out, and then I need to snort more of that cocaine I confiscated off Hunter. Well, that cocaine clearly isn't working for you, Joe, is it? But don't worry, this isn't like the original Lavender Town, and the Graveyard Tower is now the Radio Tower. Yep, just picked up that radio card to wake up Donald blocking the way to Pewter City. Oh, sorry, I meant Snorlax. OMG Obama, so funny, I look nothing like a Snorlax. Forgot how mirrors work, have you, Donald? Try looking in one and you will see what we mean. This is all recorded. Joe and I will show Hillary how much of a prick you've become, and then what will you do when she takes my side? Well, I control Hillary in the game, Donald, so I will get her to use discharge on you. Uh-huh. She will really appreciate you saying you control her, Joe, when actually it's the other way around. Hey, Joe, your best friend is about to show up on the right. Get ready. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who, Obama? I have no friends other than you two. Sounds about right, Joe. And when I'm in prison for the rest of my life, you'll only have Obama. OMG, Obama. It's Sui Kunye. Now can we catch him? WTF, he just ran away from you again, Joe. But I'm not surprised because anyone with at least one brain cell would turn the other way and run from you if they blah, saw blah, you blah, coming. Blah. I can't hear you, Donald. Joe Uasin is telling us where to find Suicune. And he says that Suicune prefers water with some hills and somewhere up north, which is basically Cerulean City. Oh, great. So we could go there now, but instead we have to continue going down the longest route in Kanto. Yep, Joe, because then we can get to Fuchsia City and battle Janine for our 13th gym badge. And we need to get to Celadon so we can get some new TMs from the department store there. All right, Fuchsia City boys, we finally made it after that godforsaken route. But now we need to head straight to the gym, Joe, and this one is a poison type gym. So use well myself being Typhlosion and we will win easy peasy. Hey guys, what's your favorite type in Pokemon? Mine has to be fairy type, they're so cute. Mine is dragon or ghost type, Joe, because they just suit me, I'm especially dragon. I'm surprised it's dragon. not poison type because you're so toxic, Donald LML. So fucking funny, Joe. Seriously become a comedian so I can throw shit at you when you perform, you goon. All right, you two calm down and stop being so loud. Joe, when you enter the gym, go along the right side and then down and you'll find the gym leader. Wow, they all look the same, Obama. So without your help, I would have been here forever. Well, that's just plain racism, Joe. On what planet is that racism, Donald? 
They all literally look the same and are dressed identically, so my comment was in fact valid. So shut your baboon face. Oh wow, a crowbat. This reminds me of our shiny crowbat in our platinum playthrough guise which we named after me, and you should all go check that playthrough out by clicking the link in the description. Yeah, except Obama as a Typhlosion is destroying this gym without any trouble at all, but considering most of her Pokemon are bug types too, this is easy. That's because I am the real G Donald, and I will take down Red on my first try, easy peasy. Like Just Aang keep taking down, down youngsters, Joe, that's all you're good Donald, for. Donald, you cut me off one more time, and I will send Melania a DM that you cheated on her with Michelle. Oh my fing god, you two shut the F up and don't bring Michelle into this. Either Joe or I will tell Jill you've been snorting cocaine every day at the White House. Ha jokes on you, Obama. She has been snorting it too. You really think I have enough time to go through 10 bags of that stuff a night? We split it each 50-50. Wait a goddamn minute, Joe. When the F did you get that stupid to get us back into our party? I only realized now. Go get Ho-O back and release this flying pancake. Took you long enough to realize, Donald, it's been with us since Lavender Town, and you only notice now, and apparently I'm the one with dementia and slow. Oh, and he released that ho oh too, Donald, and I tried my best to stop him, but I couldn't and was hoping for some backup from you, but apparently you were busy probably Googling Stormy again or something. Both of you can go to hell if you seriously released my rainbow chicken Obama. Just go take on Misty, will you, Joe, before I get more pissed off? Just so you know, Donald, I didn't actually release ho oh. Obama said that to wind you up, which is absolutely deserved. Well, you can still go to hell, Joe. You haven't done anything to benefit us today. And you can edit this video, too, because ICBA. Well, watch me and Hillary take down these stupid water-type trainers, Donald, which is something you haven't done, and actually you haven't even played for about a month. It's always me, so go do something blah, useful, Blah, 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 Joe, go to hell, you turn up face moron. Donald, you are just salty because I am the champ and you are an inmate. Go fuck yourself, Joe, I'm done here. You know those meetings with the CIA when I got Osama killed? were way less stressful than having to deal with you two these days. No wonder my blood pressure has gone up so high. Don't blame your blood pressure on me, Obama. Joe is the one acting like a child because that's his age demographic. Actually, Donald, according to our analytics, all ages love our videos, so up yours, LML. Yeah, and you beat Misty without much difficulty either, Joe, although her team could have been a bit more varied. What are you talking about, Obama? He hasn't finished yet, and Hillary just went to sleep, which is Joe's favorite hobby. Wow, and now she's used a full restore. What the F is this crap battle? Oh, Hillary woke up, Joe. Only if you could have naps that fast, maybe our country would be in a better state. Oh my fucking God, now we are frozen, Joe. What the hell are you doing? And now Hillary is dead, thanks to you, Joe. I hope you feel good about that. As much as I hate her, I wouldn't want that to happen to her. And now look what you've done. Yeah, I have nothing to say to that except I'm sorry, boys. Well, you are lucky this is her last Pokemon, Joe, because you've decided to bring out a dragon type against her Pokemon, who all have ice types, especially this damn Starmie. Joe, holy hell, now you got Dragonite killed too. Donald, shut the F up. You have not been helpful during this battle at all. You could have warned me she had ice type moves, and you, Obama, are just as bad because you didn't help me either. Joe, you are older than all of us, and we are not gonna baby you dumbass, and look, you won anyway. Even if you did manage to knock out two of our team, and they both had electric moves. Both of you can go away, I'm gonna go see Sweet Coon instead because he makes me happy. Whilst you two make me so angry and upset. Yeah, well Joe, you better have Ultra Balls with you this time, and don't pull a ho-ho where you had like only one Poke Ball with you. Oh, it's Mr. Simp again coming over here and lecturing us on Sweet Coon. I'm just gonna watch Sweet Coon for a while, guys, so we can catch him in the next episode. Whatever Joe, and thanks for watching everyone, please remember to like and subscribe and become a member too if you would like to support our content. All right, boys, no intro today because I have waited for this day ever since I first saw Sweet Coon back in Ecritique City. And now is finally the chance for us to catch it. So here we go, but please remember to like and subscribe as we get ever closer to 1,000 subscribers. All right, Joe, don't mess this up since you've been waiting for this Pokemon to catch for ages now, and it will be level 40 as well. So I think that's the main reason why we brought out Togekiss again, Donald. Yeah, and as soon as we have caught Sweet Coon, Joe, you better get Ho-Oh back, all right? We will see Donald, but you will both be proud of me because this time I bought some Ultra Balls Elmel. Thank God for that. And by the way, we could go get Lugia today as well, boys, since we have to go to Pewter City next to Battle Brock. Oh, yay. I really want to catch Lugia, and then we can replace it with Ho-Oh. What do you think, Donald? Oh, nice, Joe. You caught Suicune rather quickly, too, I must say. But anyway, we won't be using it so off to our PC box. It goes forever. Obama, I want to fucking use it, so let's ditch Ho-Oh and use Suicune. I don't Joe, care Joe, you can shove says. Suicune up where the sun doesn't shine. We ain't using that shit because Ho-Oh is better, so they're... Donald, go to hell. We are using Suicune. 
Joe Sui Kun is only level 40, so you will be the one to train it all the way up to level 75. So do you really want to do all that? Hmm. Fair point, Obama. But I still want to use it just out of spite to piss Donald off because he is always bullying me and winding me up. Joe, you deserve it now. Watch this, LML. Hang on, Donald. Where the hell did you get all these other Pokemon from? I don't know what you're talking about, Obama, so let's instead do this LML. Donald, you fucking Snorlax moron. Don't release it, please. What you gonna do about it if I do, Joe? Huh, huh, huh? Donald, why did you do that? You fat piece of shit. I hate you so much. I hate you more than anyone ever, you horrible, meanie, orange, baboon-faced pig. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's a big fuck you to Donald, you, Donald, I will send every single youngster in my contacts after you because of what you did. Oh, no, I am so scared, Obama. Joe is gonna send all his friends after me, all of whom are under the age of 10. Please save me from this horror. Usually I wouldn't get involved with your petty fights, but you crossed the line this time, Donald. Why the hell did you release Tegekis? And that was a Pokemon one of our viewers suggested, too. Oh, look, I found Donald lying asleep on the ground doing absolutely nothing Joe, as usual. Joe, for the last goddamn time, I am not a Snorlax, so stop saying that. After what you did, Donald, I am changing your contact on my phone to Donald Snorlax Trump. And the name tag to your prison cell will be Snorlax too, as well as your jumpsuit tag. All of it will be Snorlax. Joe, you better not do that shit to me. All I did was release a virtual animal on a game, but you are now bringing this conflict into real life, and that's a step too far. Haha, <laughs> Donald, I caught you with an Ultra Ball, and the Pokedex entry even relates to you too. It says, what sounds like its cry may actually be its snores or the rumblings of its hungry belly. Sounds exactly like you, Donald. LMAO Joe. That is 100% accurate to Donald, but only if Snorlax came in red to suit his Republican Both of way you of can thinking. go to hell too seriously. I only released that to Geekus as a joke, and you go and fat shame me and call me a Snorlax, which if anything you are too, Joe, because all it does is sleep like your sorry ass does Donald is salty. Time. Donald is salty. Donald is salty. Go fuck yourself, Joe. Okay, well, in other news, I just went and got the silver wing from Joe here, and now we can go to the Whirl Islands back in Johto and get Lugia, but first, let's go beat Brock, boys. Maybe a nice gym battle will calm everyone down, and it's against Brock, too, and he's my favorite character from the anime. Oh, yeah, Brock is also my favorite to Obama, and I will definitely feel calmer after seeing him, but I was just upset with Donald for releasing Tegekis, and he still hasn't apologized either. For God's sake, Joe. Fine, I'm so sorry for releasing Tegekis and upsetting you, and I apologize, and you are still my friend. So lots of love yours sincerely, Donald J. Trump. And I'm so sorry for threatening to release my youngsters after you, Donald. You are also my friend, and I love you too. Yours sincerely, Joe Biden. All right, good. We are all friends again. So now, Donald, hurry and beat Brock so we can head to the Whirl Islands and get that Lugia. Yeah, don't worry, Obama. And look, Joe, I will use you to win this battle, which shows how much I am sorry for being mean to you and how sincere I am when I apologized. Okay, Donald, but you almost got me killed here and that wouldn't show much sincerity, would it? Oh, um, oops, that was a mistake. Donald, you lying piece of trash. You did this on purpose with your BS apology just to make me feel you were sorry, when in reality you were being a snake as usual and got me killed by another water type of all things on purpose. That's your fault for believing me, Joe, you moron. And anyway, I would rather become Hillary's personal butler than give you an authentic apology in every universe ever LML. Gotta agree with Donald there, Joe. It was your fault for believing him, and now he's destroying Brock with Hillary, an electric type in a rock type gym, LMAO. If I was you, I would be super salty about this situation. I can't believe you fucking did this, Donald. You are the reason why the world hates our country. I hope you know that, and it's because you pull shit like this all the damn time, blah, and blah, we are blah, idiots blah. for no always No one cares about your opinion, it. Joe. And this damn Cabotops has given me hell, Obama. Brock keeps using full restores and endure when he knows he's going to lose anyway. He just doesn't want to lose to an electric type Donald, which makes sense to be fair. But anyway, you got it now. So well done. I think that was our 14th badge, too. Yeah, that's right, Obama. And now we only have Blaine and Blue left. But first, we need to head to Pallet Town and speak to Professor Oak. And also, we can catch that Lugia now as well, finally. Okay, boys, I made it to the Whirl Islands, and I know my way around this place, so we will get to Lugia very easily, and we still have about 75 Ultra Balls, thanks to Joe, so we should be good. You're welcome, Donald, and I think we should add Lugia to our team, too, after this, but who should we get rid of? Hmm, well, we could swap Lugia out for Ho-Oh, because having two legendaries on our team feels way too much, and we only have two gyms left anyway. Obama, we are not going through this again. I am doing Ho-Oh some justice since he never gets any screen time in the anime whilst Lugia is plastered over every wall. So it's only fair we keep Ho-Oh on our team until we beat the game. 
Well, Donald, if you had told me earlier that that was the reason why you wanted to use ho -Oh to give the poor fellow some screen time, then I wouldn't have made a big deal about swapping out our Tegekis. Joe, you never asked me, you moron. But anyway, let's drop that subject before we start fighting. And I was thinking, anyway, we could get rid of Heracross as good as it is. Lugia is better. Oh yeah, Donald, we could get rid of Heracross for now. That's a good shout. I kind of like the rest of our team, and I don't feel attached to Heracross yet. And I also agree Lugia is one of the goats. All right, here we go, boys. Time to battle the water bird thingy. Lugia has probably the best area of any legendary Pokemon in the games. Don't you guys think? I mean, just look at this place. It's so pretty. Oh, hey, I have a question for our viewers. Could someone please explain in what situations the ability pressure would be useful, as I am still unsure to this day and would like to know? I am guessing it could be useful for competitions, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's a good question, Obama, because it says it raises the enemy PP. But what good would that be? LMAO, Joe said PP. But anyway, sorry, if you die again, Joe, you might have to take this L like Obama had to with our Crobat in our Platinum playthrough if we want to catch Lugia. No worries, Donald. I would take any L to be able to catch Lugia. I'm so excited for this Pokemon to become a member of our party. Oh yeah, we got it, boys, and you didn't have to die, Joe, so good stuff, boys. So now let's go back to Kanto and swap it out for our Heracross. And the good thing is it's already level 70. We don't need to make Joe train it up much, Elmo. Oh, we got a Lonely Nature on it, too, which is all right. I guess this means its attack gets increased but defense gets decreased, although judging by its stats, having a special defense boost could have been better. I think lonely nature is good though, Joe, because our special defense is already so high anyway, so what difference would it really make? Well, boys, how about we end this episode here, and in the next one, we will aim to battle Blaine and Blue and then see where we go from there. So thanks so much for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe for more. All right, everyone, and welcome to Heart Gold. And this will be a longer video as we aim to take on the last few gyms as well as Red. So we sup, hope sup, you enjoy sup, this sup, video everyone. and please remember to like and subscribe. Yeah, we thought as we are so close to beating Heart Gold, we wanted to make another video of this amazing game before it ends, as we have really enjoyed playing it and we hope you all have enjoyed watching it too. Yeah, that's right, Donald. And some things we did off screen were change up Lugius moveset as you will see, and just cut to Viridian City. Also, boys, let's all try be friends and no fighting either, please. So, Donald, don't go and release any more Pokemon, and Joe, don't rile yeah, Donald. Yeah, yeah, Obama, okay, we get it all right. We aren't children. It's all just friendly banter in the end. Well, you two always act like children, and then I have to act like the single father, making sure you two behave yourselves, and then I don't even get to enjoy the game. So, shut it, Donald. Well, this news will make you both happy. We finally reached 1,000 subscribers, boys. So, on behalf of those two idiots, we just want to thank you for your continued support. We hope you continue to enjoy our content and the games we play. We would love new game suggestions for the future alongside our other ones, including Animal Crossing. But that game is challenging for us to make content for now as it's becoming very dull, but we aren't stopping. Yeah, well done, boys. We made it to the big 1K, but enough celebrating. We have lots of work to do getting towards Cinnabar Island and the Seafoam Islands too. I am not happy with 1K, boys. We need at least a billion subscribers. So help us get to that, everyone, because then that's another thing I can boast about in prison, as Donald, well as being a billionaire. I will make sure you are put in solitary isolation for I the am entirety bribing the judge, of your Joe. sentence. But anyway, boys, we made it to the town that started it all, Pallet Town, and here is Red and Blue's houses. Yeah, this is where it all started, guys. So let me ask you both if you think Ash is red and Gary is blue. Well, Obama, I don't think they are the same as the manga and the games are in a different universe to the anime where Ash is. At least that's what I think. I agree with Joe actually and don't think they are the same either. But let's ask our viewers and see what they think Obama. So please comment down below on what your opinions are about Ash, Red, Gary, and Blue. Oh, good idea, Donald. And also everyone, we would like to know which legendary you would like us to catch after beating Red as this game has so many and we will make our judgment based off which comment has the most likes too. I personally would like to catch Mewtwo and then we can use it for the Elite Four rematch battles. Not gonna lie, Joe, I would prefer using Mewtwo for Red since he will be very difficult and funnily enough, he will be the only trainer who is higher leveled than us. But I think that will be a good challenge since most of this game has been easy and the Elite Four will also have higher leveled Pokemon too. Check it out, boys, it's blue, but we can't battle him yet until we have got all seven gym badges from Kanto, so we still have a ways to go. Yeah, he's talking about how Cinnabar Island got destroyed by a volcano. 
So I assume this happened after Fired and Leaf Green. Well, we only have one more badge to go, boys, so after Blaine, we can come back here and take Blue on in Viridian City. Wait a fucking minute, guys. Why did he say we only have five badges? Shouldn't we have six? Oh, shit. We forgot to take on Erica and sell it on City, guys. I completely forgot about her. Oops. No worries, Joe. We have given you a hard enough time, and I don't want to fight today since we are so close to beating the game, and plus, it's just more content for our viewers anyway. So, first, let's beat Blaine and then go take on Erica. And with our team, it'll be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, wow. This Arcanine survived an earthquake from Lugia, boys. Yeah, but you didn't need to waste an aeroblast on it, Donald. And by the way, I would have suggested we use this if we didn't choose Cyndaquil as our fire type Pokemon. Oh yeah, Arcanine is so cool, guys. And I love the Legends Arceus version of it too, which I guess is the old form of it. I think it's only the Hisuian form of it, Joe. And by the way, there has been lots of news about a Legends Kirim game. And I wonder if Unova will have a different name as well, like Sinnoh was Hisui. It probably will. Obama and I would love a Legends Kyrim game. It's already one of my top legendaries. Zekrom and Reshiram are cool too, but I wonder what that original dragon Pokemon will look like. No time to wonder about that right now, Donald. It's time to battle Blaine, and with Earthquake, this won't take long, LML. I wish they changed his Pokemon a bit. Don't you think, Obama, like they could have given him a Magmortar instead of Magmar since this is the post game too? Yeah, that would have made the battles more interesting, Donald, I agree. But I'm also surprised with how versatile our Lugia is with its moveset. I didn't expect it to learn Earthquake and Thunderbolt. We could probably beat Red with our Lugia all by itself. That would itself. be suicide if we did that, Joe. What a dumb Donald, idea. Donald, I wasn't saying we should. I was just saying we probably could, you moron. Yeah, well, we won't be Joe in any case. But look, we beat Blaine boys, and now we should head to Celadon and take on Erica, which is a grass-type gym. So using Typhlosion will be the best bet. Oh, hey, do you guys remember what this old man used to say in the original games, LMAO? But they went and changed it, I guess, to be more family friendly, which is just BS. Oh, I remember that Donald LMAO. I wish they kept small things like that in the game. It made it more funny. But anyway, time to take on Erica, boys. And we made some cuts for the sake of time. But this battle will probably be quick, too. Wait, I don't remember what he said, Obama. Can you please tell me? No way, Joe, because he actually reminds me of you and we don't need you turning into a creep again before the series ends. Hey, that's not fair, guys. I am the only one allowed to be a creep, so I will Google what he says now if Joe, you both want to exclude Joe, if you Google that, me. then I will make sure to edit you out of this video, and it's my turn to edit today, so don't think I wouldn't do that. Obama, you can't do that to me because I am an integral part of these videos, and I bet people love me more than you anyway. Yeah, Joe, they love watching you fall off things in your idiocy during speeches and watching your mind slowly fall apart too. Well, in other news, we got our seventh gym badge, boys, so now we can finally go and take on Blue, and I wish he was at least in the high-level 60s. But instead, his entire team is mid-50s. Yeah, Obama, but his team is super varied, which is something I really like, as his gym doesn't really have a type. Well, Joe, if you remember which, you probably don't actually, but anyway, that gym used to be a ground-type gym when Giovanni was there, but I do prefer Blue's all-rounder team and I consider a practice battle for Red anyway. It would be a better practice battle if he actually he had a stronger team, Donald. Well, anyway, here we go, boys. Let's finally take on our boy Blue and destroy his crappy team. And by the way, I would really like to be the one to battle Red at the end if you two don't mind. Do you know what, Joe? Go ahead, who gives a damn at this point? We may as well go out with a bang since Donald, this series is almost over. Donald, are you implying I'm useless again and will lose to Red even though I am the champion of both regions? Joe! You can't keep using that as an excuse to do whatever you want, and you wouldn't have been champion if Obama and myself didn't help you. Hell, you would still be in New Bark Town if it wasn't for us. You know, I was trying to concentrate so we could get through this gym puzzle, but all I keep hearing is Donald Snorlax's voice constantly. It's fine, Obama. You made it to blue now, so destroy him, and then we can head straight to Mount Silver. All right, I think this is the last time we let Joe train our Pokemon Donald, because we are very high leveled. And the only thing that's good for now is Red and the Elite Four rematches. But since this series is going to be over in probably the next episode or two, we don't have to worry about it anymore. Agreed, Obama, but we are also using legendaries. Remember LML and Lugia was level 70 anyway, and it took down that Exeggutor with that super effective move. Yeah, Ice Beam and Thunderbolt will carry us in this gym, guys. Lugia has a super effective move for basically every member of Blue's team, LML. And I didn't plan for this either when I added those moves to him. Yeah, Obama, that was probably an oversight on your behalf, you idiot. Well, I didn't plan for Blue Donald. I was actually thinking about 
Red considering his team is about 10 plus levels higher than we are. And he has like a level 88 Pikachu with a light ball. Elmao, what an idiot Blue used Roar and dragged me out, but I'm a water type and he calls himself the original champion. I am the only champion around these here parts, Blue. Joe, the move Roar picks a random Pokemon to bring out, and I'm pretty sure Blue doesn't sit there for 10 minutes deciding on which Pokemon he'd like to battle from our team, you moron. Whatever, Joe, but now we are on his final Pokemon, and with Hillary, we won this battle, so I guess this was a good warm up for Red. Good job, boys. We finally got all 16 gym badges, so now we can head to Mint Silver. Nice, this last badge was called the Earth Badge, and by the way, I'm pretty sure we can get the other starter Pokemon from the different regions after this. Yeah, Joe, Stephen Stone, who is the champion of the Hoenn region, is somewhere around Kanto, I think. And he will give us the Hoenn starters, and after beating Red, we can get the Kanto starters off Professor Oak. Speak of the devil here, he is calling us Obama, telling us to go visit him in his lab. Yeah, and he will give us the final HM, and I think we should teach Rock Climb to Hillary and remove Power Gem. I never understood how Rock Climb is a normal type move when it literally has the word rock in it, but whatever, I guess. That sounds like a personal problem, Obama El Mal. But yeah, Joe, we can make Hillary a HM slave now, too. Let's see what that wench thinks of that LML. Okay, everyone, we cut to the top of Matt Silver. And before we begin, we should show everyone our team boys. Yeah, we taught ho -Oh Sunny Day to counteract the hail effect, as some of our viewers suggested to us in the last video. And we also bought a shit ton of Max Revives, as we will probably die a lot, LML. That's right, Joe. We bought Max Revives and some full restores and also gave our team some move boost items such as the charcoal and magnet to Hillary and Typhlosion. Yeah, we gave the C incense to Joe too since he will be able to deal with Red's Charizard and I think that's about it, boys. So I think we should begin this legendary battle. Ooh, I'm super nervous, boys. Don't worry, Joe, you got this and he will probably lead with Pikachu first. So bear that in mind since we have ho -Oh out. Okay, set up Sunny Day first, Joe. He is so going to outspeed us, Obama. I am scared. Oh, holy hell, he came in hot with that Volt Tackle, boys. Oh, damn, and we are already dead, LMAO. Okay, Joe, don't worry, this was to be expected. He took half of his own health anyway, Joe, so Pikachu will be easy to deal with. Don't worry. Thanks for the support, guys. I will use Earthquake now. Okay, good job, Joe. It's now one for one, but don't let your guard down yet. Red is really strong. Oh, Lapras is next, boys. I say we bring out Hillary and discharge this Lapras to its grave. Good shout, Joe. Although Lugia had Thunderbolt too, remember? And we would probably have the speed advantage with him too. Got the paralysis and one more discharge should be enough to KO this dinosaur, boys. Awesome, Joe, but remain composed, buddy. We still have a long way to go. Ironically, I am most worried about his Snorlax more than anything. If I had to fight you as a Snorlax, I would also be scared, Donald, but Blastoise is next, Joe. So what you gonna do here? Oh no, he has Blizzard on this Pokemon too, boys. I think I can outspeed him, maybe. And we got Frozen too, just great, Joe. We are so gonna lose now. Yeah, say bye-bye to Hillary, boys. She did her best, but somehow we got outsped by that fat blue turtle. Maybe the hail is giving him a speed boost, guys, but yeah, Hillary did her best. A moment of silence for her. Are you guys battling red and not telling me? Oh, hey, Hillary. Yeah, sorry you got taken out by a blue turtle, but you can come support me in this battle now if you like. Oh, wow. I see you caught Lugia, boys. Well done. And of course, Joe, I will be here for moral support, too. I remember beating red in Pokemon Crystal. It was really tough. Oh, here comes Donald now, everyone. So be ready, Joe, because he knows Blizzard as well. So funny, Obama, once again, but I trust Joe and Lugia to take me out. I mean, take Snorlax out. Okay, wow. Our most powerful move did absolutely nothing here, guys. I don't know what to do now. And that was a critical hit, too. Wow. Don't worry, Joe. I believe in you. Okay, I am just going to spam our most powerful moves, boys, because that's my plan. Jesus Christ, Snorlax has so much health, guys. But I'm impressed with the fight you're putting up, Joe. However, I think we should have had a Pokemon with Toxic or something. Hang on, why aren't you guys using potions or anything? Well, we did buy some Hillary, but I wanted to try to go as long as possible without having to heal to show everyone how amazing of a trainer I am. But this is clearly not going the way I wanted it, so might have to drop some Max Revives in a moment. Good idea, Joe set up a Whirlpool to take a bit of his health out each time. Yeah, but I don't think Gyarados will be strong enough to take Snorlax out. We should have kept Heracross in boys and taught it close combat. I know I will switch to Typhlosion and use Eruption and see what that does. Crap, he has Giga Impact too, but he will have to lose a turn after that, Joe. So please hurry up and get rid of this, Snorlax. This is crazy. This guy has an unlimited health bar. I swear a Dark Souls boss is easier than this guy's. And Red just keeps using full restores too. I bet he just doesn't want to lose to me because then he'll be so embarrassed. 
Oh my god, he used another. This is so annoying, boys. Yeah, I have a feeling you will die too, Obama, because Joe is refusing to use any healing items, the idiot. Oh, and there he goes, LMAO. Nice try there with Typhlosion, Joe, but I suggest you bring out Dragonite and use extreme speed, since his attack is super high. Yeah, first I am reviving Ho-Oh, so I can try set up a sunny day, Hillary. It took me ages to find the max revives, too. I almost thought I forgot them. Joe, if you forgot them, I would have switched off the game and thrown it at your head. We have been battling this godforsaken Snorlax for what feels like an eternity. Joe, can you please kill it already? Oh, finally we outsped it and I got a Dragon Pulse in hell, yeah. Told you to use Dragonite, Joe, and see now we beat Donald LML. Joe, if you use Sunny Day with Charizard out, it will be a disaster, so I wouldn't do that, but up to you, buddy. Oh God, he has Air Slash, which just makes me flinch all the time, doesn't it? Joe, you should have brought out Lugia with Thunderbolt, you moron. We are so gonna lose Ho-Oh again now. And yep, we flinched again. I think we should have come into this battle better prepared, boys, and Hillary. Although you can leave now if you want. How the hell is this Charizard so fast? It literally just air slashed us to death and we are using Ho-Oh of all things. That's fine, Obama. I am here now to save the day with my water type moves, so this Charizard will feel the wrath of the mighty Joe Biden. And you're dead, Joe, so now what? Okay, this is our last Pokemon, Joe. So please to God, will you revive some of our team? You don't need to act all cool. We know you're good at battling, kinda. This guy has Dragon Pulse on his Charizard, too. This is Mental Guy's Red is the worst thing I've ever had to deal with. Oh, thank God the gods heard our prayer and air slashed mist for once. OMG. All right, Joe, Venusaur is the last Pokemon you can do this. I know it. Okay, I'm gonna revive Typhlosion and take down this green thing with Eruption. Now I have had enough of Red. You better, Joe, because I can just see us getting poisoned with Sludge Bomb at this point. I wouldn't be surprised if Arceus just appeared and zapped us all with judgment. And there's the poison, Obama. But I say just let Gyarados die, Joe, so we can switch out to Typhlosion and win this horrible battle. All right, boys, here we go. Say bye bye to Red. And I wonder where he goes after this battle, too. I heard a rumor that he may have fallen off the mountain in shock of losing. OMG, that battle is finally done, boys. So well done, and thanks to Hillary as well for coming out to support Joe. You are most welcome, Joe, and well done, you three, for beating Pokemon Heart Gold. Next time, I think they will do the Elite Four rematch battles and catch some legendary Pokemon. So thanks for watching their video, everyone, and please remember to like and subscribe.